You know that uh, my friend here doesn't need any introduction. Camp Kenan, Kenan himself, uh, thank you for always allowing Dude. us to come over. Every time I'm down here, I love to come visit. I Last time I wasn't able to come, so I was like, I've got to get here now. Oh, man. So it's always evolving, right? Yeah, that, well, that's much like our animals and life on Earth in general. Everything's yeah. evolving. You're doing big things, which is awesome, yeah. and I love the t-shirt, by the way. Yeah, uh, very apropos for I this, have to do this it place. For yeah, yeah, very exactly. cool. But yeah, there's so much happening here at the camp, and I'm glad you're here because I want to show you. I, I don't think you, you were here when we first built yep, this. It looks amazing. It's crazy, right? Things just grow so fast here in yeah. Florida. Yeah, and because it was pretty bare. It, I mean, was, it was bare. just yeah. fresh. And, and now, I mean, Check so much. The fish have gotten so big. And yeah, and that was the thing. Like, being that we live down here in South Florida, I could do something different than koi. I got one koi in here, but we did the African cichlids. Yeah. Just because I wanted to do something a little bit more unique with the pond. And we get in there, we swim, we film. I was going to say we could go swimming if you wanted, but I don't think he brought his little, yeah, uh, I, I, he wears those bikini briefs. Exactly. Yeah, he likes bikini, the Speedos, yeah, the, you know? The, the Bahamas. Banana the banana hammocks, hammocks. Yeah, exactly. yeah, exactly. The, the, the fans love it. Oh, yeah, they sure. <laughs> yeah, That's no. a channel changer, dude. Come <laughs> yeah, on, man. Come on now. But we got, um, we got a lot going on, so I'm kind of tearing things out, redoing everything. I don't know if you noticed, but like just little things like, for example, guys, I, I love going to the St. Augustine Alligator Farm. Yeah. It's one of my favorite places. One of my favorite places, too. And I just started building little fences. Come on, let's walk yeah, over let's here. Check it out. This is the fun thing about having your own like little sanctuary, is you get to walk wherever you want. Yeah, it's you know? yeah it's awesome. So here's a red foot enclosure, and I'm gonna be using all these rocks for some new pond projects that Aquascape and I are gonna do. Mm -hmm. So it was my barrier for this enclosure. So right. I went ahead and I built new fences and right. I'm just getting into yeah. the uh, craftsmanship, if you will. No, my, that's awesome. my thing is like, how can I turn this place into my own little botanical garden? Well, that's the thing I love about your place is like, you don't, you know, you're not thinking about like, I want to open this big public place. You're like, yeah. you're, you're building your private oasis. Yeah, totally. It's like your getaway and you've and, always been happy. And it's about funny it. because I thought like you, I'm like, I don't know, man. Like, you know, um, I was wondering, and, and it's so cool that I'm talking to you and maybe, I don't know, you'll leave or agree or disagree but I've been approached by certain people to, to kind of do something akin to what you're doing yeah. and then I keep coming back around to like I don't know if I want to take on that much it's responsibility a whole, it's and burden. A, listen, it's, it, you know, I can tell you two things. Number one, it is a tremendous amount of responsibility and, and it's an anchor. Yeah. On the flip side, seeing the faces of people yeah. is so worth it to me, you know? Yep. And it's, so it's a tough one. You got to weigh what's right for you. But I think that if you do something where people can see, you'll be pretty amazed at how incredible it is. I, well, you know, it's one of the ideas that I want to do is just to maybe do like private tours. Yeah. You know, like just think book a love, private tour. And that's what we were originally going to do. Okay. We weren't going to be open to the public. We we're wow. just going to do private tours. Then we ended up opening to the public. But uh, I personally am so glad that we did. Gotcha. But. The, the private tours alone would be amazing. You'd, you'd be booked constantly. Oh my gosh, you that's know? incredible. And, and then you could, then you can, if you're scheduled, like I don't want to work that day, you just don't schedule a tour. Gotcha. But I, I would, I'd do something. You got yeah, to, I mean, got it's to. a lot of fun. Here, step over here. I'll, I'll show you what's going on over here. You know, if you watch my channel uh, for a long time and, and you know, we kind of peek in on each other's oh, lives from time to time. All the time, time. always. I, I built this pond, I dug this pond. What's cool about Florida is you dig a hole and it water comes up, up yeah. you know? Uh, there is some like drought here in Florida. We're getting into the dry season. Okay. So what happens is, you know, this will fluctuate, but I do have a, um, a well that I can help it. As you know, a, a good friend of ours passed away, yes. uh, yeah. Fred Grunwald, who is just an amazing uh, name in Florida rep uh, herpticulture here. Legend. Um, and, uh, you know, he passed away and, and part of the, the thing that he put into uh, his plans uh, was that I was gonna be taking on some of his animals. So I have two, I have Snaggle, uh, Snaggletooth and Dale, his uh, adult American alligator is coming. Yep. An 11 Big foot one. male Big and ones. a nine foot female. They're coming to live here and we're gonna have some came in here. So I'm getting ready now, guys. We're gonna be just all hands on deck. Yeah. Maybe I can get you back down I would in, love in a month in. or two to help wrangle to, them up. I you would know? love to do that. Um, and I'm so glad that Fred, you know, I'm glad that you, you're getting some of that peace yeah. because you can carry on that history. You know, this we always say the saying was, "Be more like Fred." Yes, and, and that's how ever. I mean, every person in the reptile business in Florida, you know, always said the same thing: "Be more like Fred." That tells you what kind of a guy he was. He was, was. amazing. He was like, like the only guy that you can actually. Yeah. You guys know reptiles, right? Like everyone's got an opinion on everyone else, but I can honestly say that anyone that has met Fred Grunwald, you you mentioned his yeah. name. It is a unanimous greatest love. guy. Greatest yeah. guy ever. You just can't 
Yeah. You know, not love. So it's great that he's going to yeah. be able to live on through you here. And I'm it's I'm going to name this, this area. It's going to be called the cro Crocodile Corner, Fred Grunwald's Crocodile Corner. That's awesome. So we're, we so got cool. a sign being made. We're going to put it up. But there's so much to do. It's it's such a responsibility. I'm a little freaked out, dude. You'll be fine. It's You're a little, be fine. Gonna, we got a lot to it. do. It's going to be so exciting when it's done, you know. Yeah, that would be awesome. And I'll definitely come down to help. If you I would love to see I'm you there. Um, the more the more knowledgeable people, the better it's going to be. Uh, but this right now is my pride and joy. I love this. I'm um, so excited to see this. Okay, we're going to go in, man. This is my buddy Slinky's house. You'll notice right now I'm not quite done with the touching up. Uh, Stuart from Universal Rocks, you know him well. Course, what a yeah. great guy. Great. He helped build the Reptarium and he taught me how to do yep, uh, the yep, method. Yep. So I'm just in the middle of it. it out That's now. it. Yep. That's yep. it. It looked like rock when it's oh, done. Look at this handsome guy. He's right here. So guys, my monitor lizard Slinky almost died a year ago. Okay, and he came. Yeah. We, I was able to get him back so close to death, he almost froze. He got out of his heated enclosure. My stepson found him when I brought him in crying like a maniac. Yeah. I come in, I'm hugging him, I'm trying. I he was dead. Well, my stepson said his eye moved just, yeah, a, just little a little bit, and as I was warming him up, in about four life. hours, he came back to life. So I said, I gotta honor Slinky. Yeah, so I called good old Greg Whitstock. I was like, dude, I'm going to build this incredible enclosure. Can you be a part of it? And this is what we came up this with. Is, this is a ridiculous. I mean, Check this, is, this out. Oh my God. This is cool, right? Now, I love a, this. This is a proper water monitor. I mean, this is like what you'd see in Indonesia when you're going to find them. I mean, oh man. Amazing. So I got a shout. I got a shout out. My buddy turned the camera around. That's Jerry. He's been on my channel. He's a monitor lizard lover. He's a reptile guy. The, the other good thing about a guy like Jerry is he's what I call a uh, Swiss army human. Okay, the dude knows that. everybody and he knows how to do everything. He basically made me tear down what I built. Really? And we, yeah, absolutely. We got to work. We have cement foundation, aluminum rafters uh, from our friend Brian Battle. Here he goes. Look at Slinky Go. Yeah. That's what you want to see, right? Now that's what a water monitor wants to be doing. Yeah. He wants to come over here and see what's happening. This has been the greatest enclosure for his enrichment, for his well-being, his temperament. I mean, he is the coolest lizard. And j you know what he's, he's just so curious. Yeah, he's just coming over to say hi to us. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, it's amazing. I mean, Slinky was on that side of the, the pond, came swimming over and he knows yeah, I'm somebody different. So he wants to just smell me. He's like, hey, who are you? Yeah. What do you got going on, bud? And I mean, you just see curious, you know, long tongue flicks not at all aggressive or defensive whatsoever, not afraid of anything. He's just absolutely just curious. That's exactly right. And yeah. That's amazing. See, I always say, I always talk about monitor lizards. You know, I've been just enamored by them since I was a little kid. And there's this video going around of this little guy. Have you seen it yet? Guys, have you seen this video? Little dude, like, what's your favorite lizard? He's this cute little kid. Uh -huh. And he's just like, oh, come on, a dragon. I just tell him I'd love him. I love him. I gotta, you gotta see oh this gosh. video. I think you guys oh may gosh, have I seen it. See. I haven't you seen it. You have to see it. Oh but um, anyhow, monitor lizards have always been one of my favorites just because of their size and intelligence and behavior. And when you give them this kind of environment, you really start to see that intelligence come out. The reason this animal is so calm is because he's got room to do what he wants. Yep. If he's unhappy, he could just walk away from you. Yep. So, um, you know, it's been great. The other cool thing I'll do is I can hide food items yep, and all throughout here. And he just probes everywhere, you know what I mean? He's always looking around for something. He's really digging on Brian, man. I know. He's he going to climb him. up Brian, I think. Oh, I'd be happy to have him do it. Yeah, I tell he's you what, a good boy. I love water. I love all monitors, but waters are just, there's just something special yes. about these guys because they just are so, again, they're like literally living dinosaurs. They I mean, are amazing. And yeah. you can see he's just kind of checking everything out. What an amazing and this i tell you what i'm jealous this oh is, bro this is it's all i mean this has got to be the best habitat in the country for oh, a monitor right that just made I my mean, day man I mean, i've never seen anything like it even in a big zoo this oh. size i mean you used to see like maybe komodo dragon enclosures this big right you know? right let alone just for a water Listen. monitor and and, and jake's checking uh, out. He's <laughs> the, here come here i don't mind you got that bro I, let's get jay on here come here <laughs> i don't mind holding the camera check this out you take that man Look at this, Jay's enjoying it. Everyone, My favorite lizard as well, for yep. sure, man. Jay's mom's here. I mean, I love having people that really appreciate it. Look at him, he's just going crazy on I him. love him, man. That's he's awesome. An awesome, awesome animal. So it's these kind of experiences, you know, that you, you just don't get unless you can kind of create, yeah. you know, that kind of habitat. But, you know, I, I tell you, man, for what you're doing in, in the frigid north, 
Yeah. You're, you're killing it. Yeah, dude. and we're trying to give the, you know the best, biggest, naturalistic enclosures with the most enrichment we possibly can. And I'm jealous down that you guys have all this space down here, but it's amazing. So is this your little chair? Yeah, this is on? this is where I sit, and this is also I'll throw some food items on here, like some prey items for him. And he just climbs up, and he yeah. just like hangs out. It's like an actually expensive piece of uh, yeah. of uh, driftwood that I bought in a Las Vegas like antique shop oh years gosh, and years so ago. Cool. Yeah, oh my gosh, so he's so gonna say a lot of my steps on but yeah it's just cool and you know monitor lizards they use yeah. all this space yeah he's always digging and probing and yep. checking things out so I i'm super thrilled about what we've That's been able amazing. to create so what is what's the the solution you had to the cold okay so basically if you look over here come on over here guys and you just okay. step this way i'll show you simply what i'm doing out right out here you know, we get the odd freeze. So right, yeah. maybe once or twice a winter, which is only about two months long, we'll get like 32 degree right. night. And right. that's what happened for us uh, last year. Normally, this is still under construction, okay? It's not right. done. I gotta get a new lid. I, I wanted Jerry to look at it. His brain thinks yeah, that, that engineer way. engineer type exactly. of Exactly, yeah, I'm, so. I'm more of like, an arty like oh i can make it look natural yeah yeah that's what i'm good at sure. he's good at function we're gonna have some kind of lid here oh and by the way like look at this he can go in there yeah yeah you know i'm gonna have a lid i just put this up but we've oh, got okay. a heat pad on top heat, heat pad, pad on the bottom. bottom we've got in here a simple passive heat barrier right double it there's yep. one on the inside and one on the yeah, outside gotcha. so the the air in between the two yeah, acts yeah, as a yeah, buffer, yeah, buffer. Yeah. um so this keeps it uh, all you need to do and what people don't realize sometimes you overcompensate for the cold and you can make the animal too hot too hot yeah too hot will kill a reptile yeah. quicker than too cold too cold exactly gentle heat from these these are the zoomed rept uh, uh habitat heater reptotherms i don't yep, know exactly um i'm not paid to say that i'm yeah. just letting you guys <laughs> yeah, know yeah, that's yeah. what they are yeah. they seem to really take the edge off so if it's about 40 degrees out it's about 70 degrees in there and so that's important yeah. you don't want it to get yeah, you don't want it to be 120 yeah. exactly you, to, yeah, you, you yeah. just take yeah. the edge off you yeah. know so that's what we're doing simple we'll figure out some kind of lid we're going to decorate it with the universal rock covering yeah. the skin so that way it looks all I mean, so it, it does look a little now, thanks you know? it, it needs you know i'm i like to have things completely dialed but originally i had a female in here he was hounding her so much oh, okay that she would go into a hive which I kind of moved this rock when Oh, so there's another hide There was over another here. hide in here that only she could fit in. Oh, okay. So she had a place to go, but then guess what? He was hounding her so much, she'd never come out. Oh, okay. So, or she'd be real high on the enclosure. Yeah. So I just realized they're not a match. Right, yeah. So I pulled her out because eventually what happens is he he's not aggressive to her, but he wants to breed yeah, all the time. Breed, yep. And if she doesn't breed with him, he gets frustrated. Right. Sound familiar? Yeah, exactly. Gets right. frustrated. Right. And yeah. so I don't want him to take out any no, kind of yeah. frustration yeah. on it. So yeah, we built this in two days with the Aquascape guys. Wow. And things do, I mean, it was done in April and we've got the Mexican papyrus. And the other cool thing about having a carnivore in here, my plants live. Right, yeah. Usually I built this for yeah, and then Cyclora. All, yeah, and yeah. Eat all your plants. They eat all my plants, so yeah. there he it's goes so again. so cool. I mean, it's just so beautifully done. And again, what a majestic animal. Isn't it's he? Just, it's just yeah. crazy to just see him crawling around in here. I mean, it's like, you know, we do this where we'll take our, our monitors out and just let them run around yes. like in my backyard awesome. by my pond. But they eventually have to go back in because it's cold, you yep. know, and uh, in the winter. So it's, uh, it's amazing to see these guys just be able to I mean, just run around like this. I can imagine he uses every bit of it, just wherever he wants. You can see, he's like, again, uh, it's so amazing. He's just curious. He wants to come over by us. Like, what are you guys doing over here? Well, he'll, he'll even find some of the uh, curly tail lizards. We have um, a lot of invasive lizards here in Florida. We have curly tail lizards. We have night and owls, all kinds of interesting stuff flowing around. He'll actually hunt, and I've seen him catch curly tails. Really? Yeah, they're all over And that's here. great enrichment for I him, right? I think so, yeah. Yeah. About the only thing I do with Slinky is since it is an open air environment, um, I do worm him every oh. like maybe twice a year. Okay. I'll do a worming. That's smart. Because, um, you know, he'll eat fish out of my pond. Um, you know, he'll eat caught lizards. He's known to eat the odd snake from time to time. Oh, I don't sure know if you've seen oh, that. Yeah, oh yeah, I um, actually seen him. Seen yes, that he did it. the video. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, was it was it carpet python or what? Oh, well, okay. So I had a diamond python from Jay at Prehistoric okay. Pets. It was living in the enclosure next to him. I had this type of wire, inch by half. It broke here, so now it's one by one. The snake must have got its head stuck. Good. And, then and just... he pulled him through like a spaghetti. Oh my and God. And I only found out because I took him and got an x-ray. Yeah. So 
starts inside of. I saw the snake. Oh my god. And then, then about two years later, I had him walking around our recreation pond. Uh -huh. We're with Ed the Pond Professor. Right. And he was on something. Next thing you know, he goes boom after something. It was a water snake that I water had. Snake and he caught it. I tried oh. to save the water snake, guys. It was You're done. not getting yeah, it. Out. No, no, no. Mid body, yeah. once he did a head shake, that yeah, snake was loopy. Yeah, it was gone. over. Yeah. So he's a bit of a snake specialist, man. Well, that's what um, they would do in the wild, though. It you know is. I mean, they'll, they'll eat anything. They'll eat lizards, they'll eat snakes, they'll eat amphibians, they'll eat turtles. Anything. Yep, they'll eat. Yep. They'll, I, he, I hate to admit it, he tried to eat a turtle. My wife saved it. Oh, gosh. He was, he, he dug through. I mean, he's a little bit of a bad boy, Slinky. That's yeah. why I had to give him his own enclosure. Yeah, yeah. He almost ate a Chinese box turtle. Oh, my about God. About this big. He was literally pushing the turtle on a rock to jam it down his throat. Oh, my God. And I, I told my wife, I wasn't even home. I said, Kate, you got to get that out. Save it, yeah. You got to save that turtle. Yeah. And so she goes, what do I do? I go, just grab his tail and scare him, and he'll get annoyed and drop it. And that's exactly what she did. Wow. When I tell you my wife is not a reptile person. Yeah, it's for her to do that. She's really from awesome. New Jersey, man. She's yeah. a New Jersey Italian uh, chick. Yeah, there so. you go. So anyway. this guy's from New Jersey. Hey, there you go. Jersey, New Jersey, Jersey. Jersey, all right, there yeah, you go. No, no, I knew you guys are from up north. I can, yeah, up I can north? use my accent yeah, now. Yeah, thank you, brother. Yeah. So this is Slinky's enclosure, but would you guys like to see maybe, I don't think you yeah. saw Lagatha the croc no, monitor. Let's go, no, let's go see. Come on, let's go check her out. And then I, I have some chores I want you to help me with. Absolutely. We're going to dig up some turd tortoise eggs. Perfect. Yeah. So just to give you a little taste of what yes. it's like daily here at the camp. That's awesome. What a great enclosure, huh? Thanks, buddy. Yeah. I mean, some people want Ferraris in the garage. Dude, all I no. need is no. big lizard enclosures and uh, a bicycle. And I'm yeah. happy. <laughs> I know Check you do, do a lot of bicycles. I love riding I, my bike. I follow it on Instagram all the time. I'm like, you're nuts. 200 miles a week or something? Yeah, like I'm, I'm doing about 200 miles a week right now. And I've uh, been riding a lot, man. Uh, it leans me out, and I, I love it. It's yeah, very no, addictive. It's great. Come on in. I drive about 100 miles a week. Hey, there you go. <laughs> Here she is. Now, Lagatha is not quite as friendly as Slinks. I love this this hide, though. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. This was me. What did you, so what did you just like? I had some cypress that had fallen down, and I just screwed it into a box that I fabricated. I just made a yeah. box. I, I put some oh, rigid so insulation funny. over it. I painted over the rigid insulation with a product called Dry Lock. It's for waterproofing basements yep. and yep. cement. Yep. Yep. You can tint it. I did that and then I just made like a bird's nest out of it. I it just put great. a bunch of cypress on and there she is. Yeah, That's Lagather. Lagatha came to me from my friend um, on Instagram, Inquisitive Raptors. You know, he couldn't pair her up because she would kill any yeah. male really? that was in with her. She's blind in one eye. She is an import. Right. She yeah. was brought into yeah. the country years ago. And a lot of times they'll come in with partially blind. Right. Um, I don't know if it's from basking lights or if it's from just damage. She's a little bit skittish, as you can imagine, being partially blind. Yeah, sure. She will tolerate me in here. Anytime you try to put hands on her, yeah, she's out of control. you got yeah. problems. And you, a, yeah. As you and know. You don't want to get bit by that. There you go. That's yeah, no, what I was that's, waiting yeah. for. Yeah, yeah, you, you do, do not want to get bit by that. She's only about three foot with her tail. To, well, a little bit longer than three foot. They have an amazing amazingly long tail. Yeah. She could take a finger off, oh, no yeah. problem. Yeah. So the sketchy thing for me is on cool nights, if she doesn't go in on her own, you gotta put her in. I gotta put her in. Usually I'm able to lure in with a uh, rodent, but if that doesn't work, I gotta put on the welding gloves right. and, and I gotta say a quick prayer yeah. and I gotta go for it, dude. Cause I wait for her to get cooler. Yeah. Doesn't matter. She's yeah. gnarly. Yeah. Um, and every time I put hands on her, I go back a few months. Oh yeah. In, in the That's trust. That's the problem. That's yeah. the problem is when you have to, you know, do that and we worked we have one that we got it when it was a little bit smaller than this now he's quite big you know he's not quite full grown but uh, it took us a year before we could actually now he comes out you know wouldn't trust him around people right but I can we can bring him out he'll rip you up with his, his claws, claws but he won't bite he, he'll hang awesome. out with you and stuff like that you can pet him you can you know the whole shot so but it took him a year a whole year you know before we got him to the point where we could actually interact with them so and, and that's an animal that something goes wrong and it's a problem it is a problem and you that's know? part of the reason why the animal was given to me it was to be an ambassador and show that this isn't necessarily an animal uh that should be uh, an impulse buy no animal should be an no, impulse no, buy not these, yeah. but these are these they're are dangerous level. animals they're next I level always tell people you know we have all we have you know alligators we have giant pythons I always tell people Dangerous animal in zoo, my croc monitor. Yep. The yeah. most dangerous. But, you know, it's a sweetheart, but it's still the most, we respect it because, yeah. it, but I love this. I, Thank I, you, man. I'm going to steal this at some No problem, that, brother. That is, that's that's the whole that. thing, right? Yeah. That's why we love going to other people's places. Yeah. 
is I because you see how they do things and you yeah. do get inspired. So I love that though. Isn't that cool? Dude, it's so Isn't insane. Yeah. yeah. It feels so natural, you yeah. know? It's like it's almost like you could see this in the woods. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. Just a yeah. tangle yeah. of vines yeah. or something. I love it. Fallen foliage and stuff. Yeah, and so look at her right now. Just just the last oh, bit of looking. sunlight yeah. before it gets dark. And um, you know she'll slink on into her enclosure or into her hide box. You know I'll find her throughout the day. She's got coverage here. She'll wander around, but she follows the sun around. Yeah. The other thing I noticed about the croc monitors here in Florida, um, you know, we're talking about a canopy dweller. We're talking yeah. about a real forest animal. Yeah. When I didn't have this bamboo screen on top, she would only stay under that roof. Oh, okay. And I realized I'm like, you know what? She, she probably wants more cover, cover, like a some kind of canopy. So I put this up and now she wanders throughout and she picks little dapplings where she wants to sunbathe right. through. Yeah. So she, you know, she wants yeah. to feel secure. She wants not intense light all the time. So yeah. that's what I, I, I've come to see Love just it. by watching her. Yeah, and then so all these plants will grow and, you know, beautiful. do their thing. But let's go over here. Yeah, um, we, gotta, we gotta get some work done. Let's do it. We'll get you dirty, Bri. We'll get you all digging. Right. I'm sure you've dug up some tortoise eggs before, right? I've done it before, but I, can, I am always happy to do it again. All right, now these eggs were laid last night. Okay. So I'm not as worried about rotating them. Right. Because it takes usually about 24 to 48 hours for the embryo to attach itself and start to develop on the egg. Right. So if you're watching, you see us rotate the egg. Don't flip out in the comments, man. Right. That's why. <laughs> but okay. we're going to go over this little mountain range. This is like the tallest mountain range in Florida right yeah, now. Yeah, totally, exactly. Wow. Come on over it. Like the Everglades. Yeah. This is up. Woo. And so, see, where, where is the nest, Bri? I'm thinking it's right All here. All right, yeah. I'm good. thinking it's right here. Good, good job. So. Yeah. This is actually a bit of a depression that the tortoises will sleep in. Okay. But what will happen is the gals, when they lay their egg, they dig out their flask shape and then they pull the soil together and they leave kind of a mound. So go ahead and start oh, gently searching around in there. Let's see what we can find. This is this is really cool. I usually have my stepchildren do this, Leo and Sophia. And sometimes they poop in it or there's a rock. And you know the other thing, when they poop in the uh, nest chambers, mm -hmm. the baby tortoises will eat a little bit of the scat. Okay. And Helps inoculate. Helps the, yeah, inoculate. The it's like the bio micro habitat in their gut, which is going to really help them break down cellulose because they're herbivores. Come on, baby, where are you at? Now, sometimes I take my finger, my pointer, and I gently just poke. You're hot. It's closer to you, I think, than this. Okay, really? Okay. Yeah, closer to you. Yep, that mound is actually a trick. Ah, I see. So ah, I see. I found them. You found them. I found them. All right. So you see how I take my finger? You can you can feel that it gets soft here. Yep and you just gently pull away, pull away the soil. Look at that, There's there you go. There's one beautiful egg. Look at that, guys. Huh? Oh my goodness, that is amazing. Isn't that cool? So oh you just gosh. place that right there. And look behind you, look everybody's coming around to see what's going on. It's like, hey, what's going on, guys? Yeah. Look at that, three beautiful eggs right there. Now, these, this is funny, I think we might have found a different nest. <laughs> oh, think, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, here's another there's one There's another here. egg. There's another egg here. Yep, there's eggs. Some there. of these look older. I might have missed a nest. So this might be two clutches it's of eggs. It's possible. Look at this, look at this. This is a rotten egg. Oh my gosh. I rotten. missed an egg. Oh, I'm missed trying out loud. There's a clutch. Look at that. Oh yeah, there was a whole good, yep. Oh boy, it. what are you gonna do? Well, you know what's funny? Sometimes I just find babies walking around the habitat. Yeah, that's true too, yeah. Things hatch in the ground in Florida. All right, well we did good, man. Oh, and, um, that was awesome, dude. Isn't that cool? That is the coolest. I and mean, there's nothing cooler than that, you know what I mean? To, to find so eggs like that. I mean, it's again, something that I don't get an opportunity to do too often with tortoises. So we have, it uh, looks like we have five eggs here, yeah. probably maybe from two clutches, huh? It's possible. Yeah, yeah that's it's amazing. Very possible. Some of these eggs seem like they're older than, yeah. than the others. Good so job, guys. I'll try not to rotate these eggs. I'm keeping track on how they are. But I don't watch the eggs or anything. I just throw them in just the incubator. Just throw them in the incubator? Yeah. So I'm you gonna use put like hatch right or something I like that? I use a vermiculite. Vermiculite? I've been gotcha. using that. Just yeah. gently put it on. We, yeah. got a, we got something all set up. Do you want to just go throw them in? Let's throw them in. Let's do it. Let's do it. I use these uh, sea serpent incubators. They do well for me. Let's yeah. see. I think I just put some eggs earlier in this one. We got room. Perfect. So simple. Don't mind my hats. I know. I'm looking at this hat collection, man. This is quite an You and Savannah probably. I love hats. Or, I love Cobra yeah. hats. They're my favorite. Yeah, I saw the last time you went to Australia, like the first stop. Hat place. Hat place. That's yeah. what I do. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Whenever I see Colin or Peter Birch, I'm like, can you guys bring me to a hat store? So we're just gonna put these right in. Yep. I don't bury them in the vermiculite. I, I just kind of place them in and uh, just make sure that the vermiculite is the you know one to one by weight, yep. a little moisture. 
and then there you go. put them right in. All right, Kenan, thank you so much for having us out, man. Next, I gotta come and see your place. And you're talking about something about a podcast, so I gotta get up there. Oh my gosh, so what do you guys think? Have him on the podcast? I think that's a good thing. So as soon as he can handle the cold weather, I'll uh, let you deal with that. You might have to wait till spring. May, but if, if, May June, Okay, yeah. I'll be there. If I can get him up before that, I'm gonna try my hardest. But when you're ready, you're my guest for sure. So awesome. if you enjoyed this video, which I'm sure you did, obviously go follow Kenan over at Camp Kenan. I'll put the links in the description to all his social media and if you do me a favor uh, hit a playlist over here that's right on this side can you do me a favor and hit that subscription button have an absolutely wonderful day reptile army remember be kind to someone and i promise i'll see you in the next one